Welcome to Clarington Central Secondary School's 2020 Commencement Ceremony. My name is Chris Warren and it's my honor to act as Master of Ceremonies for this rather unique event. Graduates, we are here as a commencement ceremony which is an opportunity for us to celebrate your accomplishments here at CCSS and wish you the best as you begin your journey into post-secondary lives. The staff at CCSS would like to believe that we have given you the skills to be successful, like how to balance a chemical equation, solve for X in an equation that math teachers are always asking you to find, or how to write a five paragraph essay. But more importantly, we hope that you have learned the skills needed to deal with new situations, to take on challenges, struggle with them, and preserve. This year has presented us with unique situations, but we believe that the skills you have developed here at CCSS will allow you to overcome those obstacles and realize that there's an even greater rewards when you succeed despite them. As you move into post-secondary life, remember that there is always someone who will tell you that you are wrong and they will do it loudly. But your success can be even louder. So graduates, we remember your time here and watch you begin your journey forward with the courage to be wrong and hope that you will use these skills you have developed to move forward to even greater success. We'll start it off with a message from KPR Vice Chairperson of the Board of Education, Trustee Sarah Bobka. Hello graduates of 2020, my name is Sarah Bobka and I'm proud to be a KPR trustee representing Clarington. On behalf of my colleagues at the board table, I'm pleased to bring greetings and congratulations. But we all don't know that this wasn't the celebration we had hoped for for your graduation. COVID-19 has meant that you've missed out on many key milestones in your final year, but it can't take away from the accomplishment that you've achieved, nor can it lessen the hard work and determination it took to get here. I'd like to thank your parents, guardians, friends, educators, and families for their help on this journey. Graduates, please know that we are all extremely proud of you, and not just because you've achieved a diploma, but because 2020 put a lot of challenges in your path and you faced them with perseverance, grace, and hope. And these are qualities that will serve you well in life. So once again, I'd like to offer my sincere congratulations and every success going forward. Thank you, Trustee Buck. We will now hear from Municipality of Clarington Trustee, Kathy Abraham. Hello, I'm Kathy Abraham, Trustee for the Municipality of Clarington, Kawartha Pine Ridge District School Board. Well, this certainly isn't the graduation ceremony we'd all hoped for. I know I would have preferred to be sitting in the auditorium at Clarington Central, while we acknowledge the accomplishments of these graduates, but here we are. But never for one minute think that this isn't just as important or just as valuable. We need to acknowledge what these students have done and whether you're sitting in front of your computer or we're all together, it's important that we do this. In fact, I want to say to the graduates that you should be commended for your resiliency, for your persistence, for getting through to graduation in a final semester like we've never uh, anticipated. In fact, you are the only ones that can now say you should have seen what my grade 12 year was like. We had a pandemic. To the staff of Clarington Central, I want to thank you for all that you've done for the students of this school. We know that you come to work and your focus is on student success. We cannot thank you enough for everything you've done for these students. To the friends, family, supporters of these students, thank you for what you've done. You know, this is a shared uh, responsibility between all of us. We cannot do this without you. We know that you were there for them when they were quite little and perhaps had to take a trip to the dollar store to be able to finish that project late at night. Or maybe you were the one that drove them to school early in the morning to make sure they made practice for volleyball or, or band or maybe you stayed up late with them at night, uh, bringing them coffee so they could study. We appreciate it and they appreciate it. So thank you for your part in this. To the students, never forget, you've been set up for success. We know that you will be able to accomplish all that you set your mind to. You put that same resiliency, that same persistence towards your goals and you'll get there, no matter which path you've chosen. We're very proud of all that you've accomplished and we want to thank you as well, because without you, Clarington Center wouldn't be the amazing place it is. So thank you and congratulations. And never forget that you are the graduating class of 2020 for Clarington Central Secondary School. Thank you, Trustee Abraham. From Senior Administration of the Board of Education, we will now hear from Superintendent of Education Student Achievement, Superintendent Jamila Malia. 
Welcome honored guests, graduates, family, and friends. I am privileged to bring greetings on behalf of our trustees and the Kawartha Pine Ridge District School Board to Clarington Central Secondary School's annual commencement celebration. I acknowledge that things are very different this year and admire your strength, courage, and determination in these unprecedented times. I am new to the Kawartha Pine Ridge District School Board, but I am very proud to be the superintendent of Clarington Central Secondary School. From all that I have observed during these challenging times, it is apparent that this is an exemplary school community. The students and staff show great care, kindness, expertise, and passion. For educators, a commencement ceremony provides a sense of satisfaction and pride as we discover the direction our graduates have taken. This graduating class has upheld Clarington Central's mission of academic excellence and has helped create a positive school culture. Graduating class of 2020, receiving your diploma tonight will bring closure to your days as a high school student. Tonight, you will remember the good times, your friends and your teachers. You should also remember everything you have done for yourself to get to this point. You have demonstrated hard work, dependability, conscientiousness, honesty, integrity, perseverance, and dedication. You have earned the right to be proud of your achievements. Cherish this accomplishment and your memories of Clarington Central Secondary School as you move forward along life's path. I believe it is important to acknowledge the teachers and support staff for their commitment to student achievement. These teachers, mentors, counselors, and coaches have made an enormous impact on your lives. I would also like to recognize your families and friends for providing support over the years. This evening would not be possible without their encouragement, nurturing, and guidance. Finally, I hope that your time spent at Clarington Central Secondary School has prepared you well for the next step you have chosen. I wish you all every success on life's journey and I am extremely confident in saying I know that you will continue to make us proud. In the words of Sheryl Sandberg, Chief Operating Officer of Facebook, don't let your fears overwhelm your desire. Let the barriers you face, and there will be barriers, be external, not internal. Fortune does favor the bold, and I promise that you will never know what you're capable of unless you try. Thank you so much for the opportunity to speak to you in this incredibly important moment in your life. All the best. Thank you, Superintendent Malia. We will now hear from Aaron O'Toole, MP, leader of the official opposition of Canada and leader of the Conservative Party of Canada. Hello, it's Aaron O'Toole, the Member of Parliament for Durham and leader of the official opposition. I'm talking to you from Ottawa today, but I'm very proud to call Clarington and Durham home and I'm excited to be with you for your virtual graduation ceremony. Each of you are finishing your high school education in a totally different way than you expected. Amidst a pandemic, maybe you had to study more from home, connect digitally to your classes and to your teacher, just as I'm connecting digitally with you right now. You haven't had your friends nearby and you haven't had all the same athletic arts and clubs that were the normal high school experience. But you've persevered, and your community is very proud of you. And now your country, Canada, needs you. We need your resilience, your determination, to help ensure that Canada remains the best place in the world to work, enjoy life, and raise your family. It's a heart of service when times are difficult and when times are good that marks Canadians and our commitment to one another. So as your member of parliament, and as leader of Canada's official opposition, I want to wish you a congratulations on this achievement. Happy graduation day. From the municipality of Clarington, we will hear from Mayor Adrian Foster. Hi folks, I'm Adrian Foster and I'm the mayor of the municipality of Clarington. I want to thank you for inviting me to this virtual graduation ceremony for Clarington Central. If you guys can graduate during a pandemic, you are going to be prepared to do anything in your lives that you want to moving forward. I wish I was here in public to congratulate each and every one of you, but on your success, despite trying times, on behalf of council, on behalf of the entire community, congratulations, 
and for an amazing future that you're going to have. Best of luck. Thank you, Mayor Foster. I will now call upon Principal Jeff Watt to address the graduates. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Clarington Central Secondary School graduation. I'm hoping that you, your families, and your friends are all healthy and happy. And on behalf of the staff at Clarendon Central, I would like to say that we all wish this could have been an in-person graduation ceremony. Please understand, although we are having a virtual graduation, our hopes, our wishes for you are not virtual. Through this time, I've been continually impressed by your resilience in the face of adversity. Even though the country had shut down, you continued to work, to continue to focus on school, and continue to do your best. And for that, we applaud you for your resilience. That's a word we've been thinking a lot about lately and what's going on in our world is the idea of resilience. And you, as a graduating class, have demonstrated incredible resilience in the face of challenge that none of us have ever expected to happen. It's really important that you understand how proud we are of you and how supportive we are of you as you go forward in your future. I know many of you have started your post-secondary schooling in a very different place than you had imagined, but just remember that this too shall pass. We will come back to some kind of normal soon, hopefully soon, and you will have the opportunity to move on to the next stage of your life in the way it should be happening. So please understand that the next time anybody talks to you about how you've had it easy and how they've had to walk through miles of snow and rain to get to school, you simply need to tell them, we went to school through a pandemic and continue to thrive. It's really important that you understand how proud we are of you for the work you've done and how we really wish we could be in person celebrating all of your achievements and your accomplishments. As a principal, a graduation ceremony is always one of my favorite times of the year and my favorite ceremonies because we get to acknowledge the work that has happened. For some of you, school has been very, very easy and you've enjoyed it a great deal. For some of you, school has been a challenge and for that, it's an opportunity for you now to graduate, to move on to the next stage of your life. Regardless if you, if you had a great time in school, an easy time in school, a challenging time in school, it doesn't change the fact that we wish nothing for the, but the best for you and hope you have a bright and successful future. So again, on behalf of the staff at Clarington Central, I want to wish you all the best, say happy graduation, and hope that you have an incredible future ahead of you. Thanks everyone. Thank you, Principal Watt. We will now proceed with our presentation of special awards. Commitment to the Arts Award recognizes students who throughout their secondary careers made contributions to the various art forms. The CCSS Arts Council presents to this year's recipient, Ailish Witherspoon. Arts Production Award goes to the graduating student who has shown dedication and commitment to a variety of arts productions in performance or production role. The CCSS Arts Council presents to this year's winner, Ashley McCarl. Commitment to Business Award. To a deserving student who has shown an interest and aptitude in business studies during their time at Clarendon Central and is continuing to pursue business studies. Hooper's Trophy Center and Ed Hooper present to this year's winner, Naila Muhammad. Commitment to Canada and World Studies Award. To a deserving student pursuing post-secondary education related to Canada World Studies or who excelled in Canada World Studies courses at CCSS. Ms. Tracy McKellar presents to this year's winner, Blake Starmans. Commitment to Social Sciences. To a deserving student pursuing Social Sciences or Humanities at a post-secondary level or who excelled in Social Science and Humanities courses at CCSS. The Clarington Board of Trade presents to this year's winner, Michelle Banks. Dedication to English Literary Studies Award. To a deserving student who has shown a dedication to English and literature during their time at Clarington Central and is continuing to pursue English or literature studies beyond high school. The Royal Canadian Legion Ladies Auxiliary Branch 178 presents to this year's winner, Julia Reed. Dedication to Mathematics Award is awarded to students who have demonstrated commitment to mathematics during their time at CCSS and are pursuing a degree in a mathematics related field. Scotiabank presents to this year's winners, Gloria Ding and Molly McGill. Dedication to Science Awards go to deserving students who have shown a dedication to science during their time at Clarington Central and are continuing to pursue science beyond high school. 
Aspen Springs Animal Hospital and the CCSS Science Teachers present to this year's winners, Matthew Putnam and Elizabeth Wildefor. Experiential Education Award to a deserving student who has demonstrated a high degree of understanding of job readiness skills and workplace health and safety rules and procedures, and has also demonstrated exemplary completion of workplace expectations and employability skills through cooperative education. Edge Imaging presents to this year's winner, Stuart Coombs. The OEAP Award goes to a co-op student who has had a placement in an apprentice trade and is planning on pursuing a career in the skilled trades. The Court of Pine Ridge District School Board presents the award to this year's recipient, Caitlin Clay. The Commitment to Technology Award goes to a student who has shown dedication to one or more areas of technological education and participated in extracurricular opportunities in order to improve and to demonstrate their aptitude and love of technology. CCSS Arts Council presents to this year's recipient, McKenna Fitzpatrick. Dedication to School Athletics Award recognizes students who have shown a commitment to school athletics during their time at Clarington Central. CCSS Athletic Council presents to this year's winners, Maddie Balson and Sydney Harding. The Ontario Power Generation Award supports two graduating students with specific focus on post-secondary study in any of the following fields, engineering, science, environment, technology, mathematics, physics, or business. Ontario Power Generation presents to this year's recipients Alicia Domingos and Lauren Mars. The Alexicon Energy Award supports a student pursuing a university education in the field of electrical engineering or other electrical or engineering disciplines and or computers. Alexicon Energy Incorporated presents to this year's recipient Gloria Ding. The Specialist High Skill Major Awards these are given to students who demonstrate outstanding commitment, enthusiasm, and dedication to their specialist high skills major and will continue to pursue their area of specialty in the future. Awards are given in each of the specialty areas, which include arts and culture, business, hospitality, and environmental. CCSS Arts Council presents the Arts and Culture Award to Dane Colloran. In business, Hooper's Jewelers presents to Story Coulter. For hospitality, CCSS presents to Caitlin Clay. And in environmental, the CCSS science teachers present to Sophia Mulder. The OSSTF District 14 Academic Award goes to graduates who value their public education, demonstrate good citizenship, and are actively involved in the betterment of their community. The OSSTF District 14 presents to this year's winners Tori Finley and Curtis Hiscock. CCSS Past Prime Minister's Award is presented to the past co-prime ministers of the student government for 2019-2020. The CCS student government presents to this year's prime ministers McKenna Fitzpatrick and Sheridan Hood. The Clarington Guidance Award to recognize a student who maintains a high academic standing while participating in community related activities in the form of a part-time job or volunteering. Edge MG presents to this year's recipient Justin Benjamin. The Manzuck Award is in recognition of a student who has made an extraordinary effort to ensure that students' volatility, strengths, and needs are included in school activities. Ms. Diana Manzuck, Remax Jazz Incorporated, presents to this year's winner, Olivia Dorensfleet. The Municipality of Clarington Commencement Award is in recognition of a student pursuing post-secondary education in agricultural, forestry, or environmental science and who has demonstrated academic excellence, commitment to leadership, and community service. The Municipality of Clarington presents to this year's winner, McKenna Slemon. Patrick McKay Memorial Award. The Patrick McKay Memorial Award honors the memory of CCSS graduate Patty McKay, who loved the outdoors, sports, especially hockey, and always lived life to the fullest. This award recognizes two students who played rep hockey while in high school and demonstrated high academic achievement, which allowed them to continue their education at a college or university in a science, technology, engineering, or math field. The McKay family presents to this year's recipients, Robbie Carr and Abby Mills. The Veterans Award is awarded in memory of World War II veteran, Mr. Michael O'Reilly Sr., who was an honored member of our school community. The award is given to a student who has shown both academic and personal growth and strength during challenging times. The O'Reilly family presents to this year's winner, Shondell Hess. 
The Ontario Principal Council's plaque recognizes students with outstanding achievement in academics, citizenship, and leadership. The Ontario Principal's Council presents to this year's recipient, Avery Haina. The Lieutenant Governor's Community Volunteer Award is in recognition of a student who has demonstrates exemplary volunteer activities and community contributions above and beyond the required number of volunteer hours. The Ministry of Citizenship and Immigration presents to this year's winner, Mackenzie Bell. And this concludes our special awards. We will now begin the presentation of Ontario Secondary School Diplomas, Subject Awards, Specialist High Skill Major Graduates, Honor Roll, and Ontario Scholars. Subject awards are awarded to the student with the highest average in each course. Our Ontario Scholars are students who have an average of at least 80% in their six best courses. Honor Roll students have obtained at least an 80% average in their final year. And the Specialist High Skill Major Graduates have completed a group of uh, courses and certifications in a specific area of emphasis. Our presenter for this evening is Ms. Heather Newton. Brandon Adams is an Honor Roll student. Talia Andrews, congratulations on earning your Ontario Secondary School Diploma. J.R. Angeles has earned his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Annette Argyle, Ontario Scholar. Jordan Armstrong, Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Akeem Aziz. Akeem is an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Michelle Baggs. Michelle is an Ontario Scholar, an Honor Roll student, and she's receiving a Specialist High Skills Major Diploma in Environment Studies. Michelle had the top mark in both Cooperative Education and Families in Canada. Melissa Baker. Melissa is an Ontario Scholar, an Honor Roll student, and she's receiving her Specialist High Skills Major Diploma in Arts and Culture. Melissa had the top mark in Dramatic Arts. Maddie Balson. Maddie is an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Angel Balson is receiving her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Kiara Barrett, receiving her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Brianna Bartlett. Brianna is receiving her Certificate of Accomplishment. Mackenzie Bell. Mackenzie is an Honor Roll student. She's receiving her Specialist High Skills Major Diploma in Arts and Culture, and she earns the top mark in Understanding Canadian Law. Justin Benshop. Justin is both an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. He also had the top mark in College and Apprenticeship Mathematics. Lindsay Beerstecker. Lindsay is both an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Camille Burney. Camille is an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student, and she's receiving her Specialist High Skills Major Diploma in Environment Studies. Shelby Blakely. Shelby had the top mark in grade 11 hairstyling and aesthetics. Madison Blue is earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Stephanie Boyvan is an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student who had the top mark in grade 11 University Biology. Colby Bolton is an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Peter Baroden is an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Lucas Bosgraf. Lucas is an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student, and he's receiving his Specialist High Skills Major Diploma in Environment Studies. Colson Boyle. Colson is an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student. Ainsley Brant Glover. Ainsley is both an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student. Drew Campbell is an Ontario Scholar. Jackson Campbell is earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Robbie Carr has earned his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Shay Chandon has earned the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. 
Braden Chapel is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student who is receiving a specialist high skills major diploma in business. Curtis Chalk is receiving his Ontario secondary school diploma. Yor Chichindu, earning her Ontario secondary school diploma. Yora is an Ontario scholar. Caitlin Clay. Caitlin is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student who's receiving her specialist high skills major diploma in hospitality and tourism. Dane Colloran. Dane is both an Ontario scholar and honor roll student. Dane is receiving his specialist high skills major diploma in arts and culture. Katie Connell is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student. Stuart Coombs is an Ontario scholar. Josh Cote is an Ontario scholar and an honor roll student. Story Coulter. Story is an Ontario scholar and an honor roll student receiving her specialist high skills major diploma in business. Alex Cowan. Alex is both an Ontario scholar and an honor roll student. Noah Crawford Burke. Noah is an Ontario scholar and an honor roll student. Brianna Curran is an Ontario scholar and an honor roll student. Nathan Daniels is receiving his Ontario secondary school diploma. Aiden Davis is an Ontario scholar. Stephanie DeCuba is an Ontario scholar and an honor roll student. Emily Diabru. Emily is an Ontario scholar and she's on the honor roll. Madison DeMerchant. Madison is on honor roll and she received the top mark in grade 11 college biology. Gloria Ding. Gloria is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student who is receiving her specialist high skills major diploma in environment studies. Gloria also received the top mark in forensics, advanced functions, enriched biology, enriched chemistry, and enriched physics. Alicia Domingos. Alicia is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student receiving her specialist high skills major diploma in business. Olivia Dornspleet. Olivia is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student. She's receiving her specialist high skills major diploma in environment studies. Noor Al Hussein. Noor is an Ontario scholar. Marwa Alabed. Marwa is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student. Maddie Ellis is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student who earned the top mark in university families in Canada. Isabel Evans is an Ontario scholar. Erica Exuzidis is receiving her specialist high skills major diploma in hospitality and tourism. Noah Fields. Noah is receiving his certificate of accomplishment. Tori Finlay. Tori is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student who's receiving her specialist high skills major diploma in the environment studies. McKenna Fitzpatrick. McKenna is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student who also received the top mark in university Canadian and international law as well as university English. Raylene Forcier. Raylene is receiving a specialist high skills major diploma in arts and culture. Benjamin Friedman. Benjamin is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student. A JC Galbraith. A JC received the top mark in grade 11 university introduction to computer science. Riley Gallagher. Congratulations on earning your Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Kaylin Giroux. Kaylin received the top mark in the Grade 11's Crafts course. Eric Girard. Eric is receiving his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. 
Cassie Godin. Cassie is receiving a specialist high skills major diploma in environment studies. Braden Graham. Braden is receiving his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Cassandra Graham. Cassandra is receiving her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Lauren Graham. Lauren is an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student who is receiving a Specialist High Skills Major Diploma in Arts and Culture. Adam Groth. Adam is an Ontario Scholar and he's on the Honor Roll. Avery Haina. Avery is an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student. She also earned the top mark in visual arts, photography, and in hairstyling and aesthetics. Darius Hall. Darius is receiving his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Chris Hansen. Chris is receiving his Certificate of Accomplishment. Sydney Harding. Sydney is both an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Dylan Harches. Dylan earned the top mark in Grade 11, Designing Your Future. Adam Hasira. Adam is an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student who also earned the top mark in University Physics, University Chemistry, Advanced Functions, and Calculus and Vectors. Josh Haringa has earned his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Jordan Hershide is receiving a Certificate of Accomplishment. Shondell Hesp. Shondell is an Honor Roll student. She's receiving her Specialist High Skills Major Diploma in Business. And Shondell also earned the top mark in Grade 11 Entrepreneurship, Grade 11 Marketing, College English, and College Chemistry. Raven Hess. Raven is an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student. Curtis Hiscock. Curtis is an Ontario scholar who's also on the honor roll, and he earned the top mark in musical theater. Alexis Hogan. Alexis is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student who earned the top mark in challenge and change in society. Sheridan Hood is an Ontario scholar and an honor roll student. Kaylee Hobson. Kaylee is an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student who earned the top mark in visual arts. Samra Iqbal. Samra is an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student who earned the top mark in challenge and change in society. Christina Jarnell. Christina is earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Corbin Johnson. Corbin is an Ontario Scholar. Cade Judd. Cade has earned his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Kamari Keith. Kamari is both an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Ananth Kiratharan. Receiving his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Skylar Kuypers. Skylar is both an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Chloe Lakin is receiving an Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Brooke Lambert. Brooke is receiving her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Brandon Latin. Brandon has earned his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Sam Lachlan. Sam is receiving a Specialist High Skills Major Diploma in Arts and Culture. Sam also earned the top mark in vocals. Sophie Leach is both an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Ben LeClaire has earned his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Denver Lee is receiving his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Mason Lee. Mason has earned his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Jordan Lester. Jordan is receiving a Specialist High Skills Major Diploma in Business. Sahar Lutfi. Sahar is an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Lauren Mars. 
Lauren is an Ontario scholar who's on the honor roll, and she's receiving her specialist high skills major diploma in arts and culture. Roderick McDonald is earning his Ontario secondary school diploma. Curtis Magvaz has earned his Ontario secondary school diploma. Katriana Major is receiving her Ontario secondary school diploma. Josh Martin is an Ontario scholar. Judith Martin is receiving a specialist high skills major diploma in environment studies. Hayden Mash is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student receiving a specialist high skills major diploma in environment studies. Brody Maver Brody is receiving his Ontario secondary school diploma. Kimberly Mayhew Kimberly is receiving her Ontario secondary school diploma. Ashley McArdle. Ashley is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student who is receiving her specialist high skills major diploma in arts and culture. Ashley earned the top mark in both musical theater and vocals. Haley McCaw. Haley is earning her certificate of accomplishment. Kyle McDonald is both an Ontario scholar and an honor roll student. Molly McGill is an Ontario scholar who's also on the honor roll. Jacob McLean is receiving his Ontario secondary school diploma. Isaac Mercer is an Ontario scholar. Nicolita Malanga is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student who received the top mark in the Ontario Literacy course. Abby Mills is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student. Abby earned the top mark in healthy, active living. Lily Milson is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student. Stephen Moores is an Ontario scholar. Alexis Moulin is receiving her Ontario secondary school diploma. Brendan Moles is an honor roll student. Naila Mohammed is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student who's receiving her specialist high skills major diploma in business. Sophia Mulder is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student. Sophia is receiving her specialist high skills major diploma in environment, and she earned the top mark in music theater. Sophia Mumtaz is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student who earned the top mark in grade 11 crafts. Haley Murphy is an honor roll student who earned the top mark in college English and in grade 11 healthy active living. Ryan Murray is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student who earned the top mark in college hospitality and tourism. Sophie Neal is receiving her Ontario secondary school diploma. Kendall Newman is an Ontario scholar and she's on the honor roll. Cole Nichols, Cole is an Ontario scholar. Chelsea Niarco is an Ontario scholar and she's on the honor roll. Caleb Owens is earning his certificate of accomplishment. Justin Parnell is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student. Tyler Pattison is an Ontario scholar and he's on the honor roll. Sadine Paul is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student. Joshua Pepiat, Josh is an Ontario scholar. Brandon Pereira, Brandon is receiving his Ontario secondary school diploma. Judson Pugh, Judson is receiving his Ontario secondary school diploma. Lucien Purchase, Lucien is receiving the Ontario secondary school diploma. Matthew Putnam, Matthew is an Ontario scholar and honor roll student who earned the top mark in musical theater. 
Keith Qualtro. Keith is earning his Certificate of Accomplishment. Morgan Reed. Morgan is an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student who is receiving a Specialist High Skills Major Diploma in Business. Morgan earned the top mark in Grade 11 University Introduction to Anthropology, Psychology, and Sociology. Maddie Rianga. Maddie is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Julia Reet. Julia is an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student who is receiving a Specialist High Skills Major Diploma for Environment. Annalise Roberts is an Honor Roll student who is receiving a Specialist High Skills Major Diploma in Environment. Annalise earned the top mark in Introduction to Accounting. Ethan Robinson. Ethan is an Ontario Scholar and he's on the honor roll. Ethan Samuel. Ethan is an Ontario Scholar. Mahalini Sathaval. Mahalini is an Ontario Scholar and honor roll student who earned the top mark in personal and fitness activities as well as in University Introductory Kinesiology. Hishan Syanthan is an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Luke Shields has earned the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Josue Shuango has earned his Certificate of Accomplishment. Taylor Simmers. Taylor earned the top mark in Grade 11 University Chemistry. Sadie Slay. Sadie has earned her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. McKenna Sleeman. McKenna is an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student who is receiving a Specialist High Skills Major Diploma in Business. McKenna earned the top mark in business leadership. Blake Starmans. Blake is an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student receiving a Specialist High Skills Major Diploma in Business. Blake also earned the top mark in University World History since the 15th century and in Grade 11 College Hospitality and Tourism. David Steves. David is an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Benjamin Stevenson. Benjamin is an Ontario Scholar and he's on the Honor Roll. Walker Stoddart. Walker is an Ontario Scholar and he is also on the Honor Roll. Austin Stuthers. Austin has earned his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Sasha Sullivan. Sasha is an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Sasha is receiving her Specialist High Skills Major Diploma in Arts and Culture. Lucas Taggart. Lucas is receiving his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Rimsha Tahir. Rimsha is an Ontario Scholar who is also on Honor Roll and she earned the top mark in University Data Management and University Chemistry. Rumesa Tahir. Rumesa is an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Brooke Travers. Brooke is both an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student who earned the top mark in the dual credit electrical and dual credit hand tools. Destiny Trotman. Destiny is receiving her certificate of accomplishment. Ethan Vander Hayden. Ethan earned the top mark in grade 11 hospitality and tourism. 
Amy von Zubin. Amy is both an Ontario scholar and honor roll student who is receiving her specialist high skills major diploma in arts and culture. Judah Watkins. Judah is receiving his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Callum Wiggins. Callum is an Ontario Scholar and he's on the honor roll. Elizabeth Wildebor. Elizabeth is an Ontario Scholar who's on the honor roll and she earned the top mark in University Biology. Ailish Weatherspoon. Ailish is an Ontario scholar. She's on the honor roll and receiving a specialist high skills major diploma in arts and culture. She also earned the top mark in music, musical theater, in enriched English, and in calculus and vectors. Evan Wright. Evan is receiving his Ontario secondary school diploma. Jamie Zoschke. Jamie is earning a Certificate of Accomplishment. Our final award of the evening is the Governor General's Academic Medal. The Governor General's Academic Medal was established in 1873 and acknowledges the student with the highest academic average, including both grade 11 and grade 12 marks. This year's recipient is Ailish Witherspoon. That concludes this year's commencement awards. It is now my honor to present to you your 2019-2020 valedictorian. Please welcome Ms. McKenna Fitzpatrick. Good evening to parents, teachers, staff, and of course the graduating class of 2020. Before I begin my speech, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the committed teachers and staff at Clarington Central for your never-ending devotion to our success. You made the past four years not as lonely, daunting, and entirely unbearable. Except for you, Mr. Hargraf, I will never forget those traumatic words you yelled across class. <clears throat> factor first, factor first, oh my god, factor first. I still never remember to factor first. As I started preparing writing this speech, I initially wanted to avoid speaking too heavily on the pandemic. While I drafted speech after speech, I realized the inevitability of addressing the coronavirus. I mean, come on, I'm speaking to you through a screen. On March 12, 2020, the bell rang at 2.17 p.m., and we all left eager to have a relaxing March break. There was an uneasy feeling in the air that day, as we had all become aware of COVID, but oblivious to what was on its way. What the heck happened? The additional two-week shutdown was initially seen as a blessing in disguise for most. Who wouldn't be excited to have a three-week March break? We all were, except for maybe some of the musical theater kids, for that was disappointing. Ripley Miz 2020. As months went by, we all waited for the newest update to determine when we would come back. I began to crave walking down the halls, running late for band practice and hearing McKenna and Sheridan to the music room, band's about to start, and having the grade nines barricade the entire hallway during period one and period two and lunch and period three and period four. But we never got to experience that again. Our time was cut short and after four years of blood, sweat and tears, we got nothing. Hope began to fade as the spring turned to summer and summer turned to fall. Receiving a prom or formal graduation became an impossible request due to restrictions. As we begin to establish our lives, get married, or have kids, we will never be able to answer, Mom, what was your prom like? Or how did it feel to throw your cap in the air? Now I know how depressing it is to think about. We got no closure. But with hard times come suitable lessons. The class of 2020 will forever be seen as the year who prevailed. We did not let the coronavirus hold us back, and we will persevere through life with more resilience than any generation before. Now, I would like to provide a verbal highlight reel of the last four years at Clarington Central, while addressing as much of the graduates' experiences as possible. Let's begin with grade 9. The first time I heard William tell Overture, I don't think I knew how much PTSD it would bring me later in life. I mean, what an anxiety-ridden song to have played as you're running late to class in the morning. Remember back to grade nine and 10 semi-formals? They were the first and last good dances we ever experienced in high school. Wanna know why? Because that was before we had Tweedledee and Tweedledum running student government. Wait, why did your mind go straight to Mr. Ubell and Mr. Warren? I met Sheridan Hood and I. Says a lot. Here comes grade 10, rolling in hot. The year full of confusion and anxiety over the literacy test. 
but I'm not sure how literate we all are now. From science trips to the amazing production that was Cabaret, we all slid by the skin of our teeth that year, all while making the best of it. Grade 11. Time to start thinking about what you want to do after you get out of this place. Did you want to work? Take a year off? Escape to university or college? Whatever it may have been, I hope you chose what you wanted. Relay for Life was a keystone event for that year for most. What an inspirational time. For band kids, this would have been our last full year of band nights and festivals. Ferns. How does it feel to say goodbye to your best group yet? Well, maybe not the best, but for sure the most entertaining. Is that tile still out of line? Now, virtual drum roll please, grade 12. We wanted to get out of there, but maybe not quite as fast. Our final year of high school was not exactly what any of us expected, but I can say it was a memorable year for that reason. As I wrap up this speech, I would like to finally speak to my graduates directly. Hey, long time no see. I truly miss all of you, whether or not I was close with you. Each and every one of you made Clarington Central the place that it was, and for that I am forever thankful. I cannot begin to express what an honor it is to have been selected by my peers to represent the class. Thank you truly. Now, we have all had the quarantine and months following to reflect on how awesome or terrible high school truly was, but I would like you to reflect on this. Think back to your first day of grade 9. Yes, grade 9. The year known as the bane of our existence. Close your eyes and imagine. Do you remember what the weather was like that day? What did you wear? Who caught your eye in class? Were you nervous? I know I was for sure nervous and thought, am I going to make it? Ready for it? Here comes the cliche, but we made it. All of us did, each in our own and unique way. Now as we begin to diverge on our separate paths and open new promising chapters and hopefully closing the chapter of 2020, shall death do its part. For each of you, I want to share this quote. Be courageous and live the life your heart is guiding you towards. And I ask you this, I want all of you to go for whatever in life your heart desires. We only have one experience, we must not waste it on doing what is believed we should do, rather than what we want. I am sure as I do, most of you have regrets from the past four years. Do not carry those regrets into new experiences, rather learn from them and realize you must seize every opportunity in life as it comes to you. We know how fast time goes, so I urge you to not waste it. Congratulations to all of you for the sacrifices and challenges you faced in order to get where you are today. I could not be prouder to be a part of any class. Stay cool, class of 2020. Thank you. Thank you, McKenna, for your inspiring words. Ladies and gentlemen, graduates, this type of event takes the immense amount of work that needs to be recognized. We thank our generous community partners who have helped the awarding of nearly $10,000 in student awards. I would like to thank the commencement committee headed by the guidance department who have put in many hours of work to prepare this unique commencement ceremony. And a final congratulations on your graduation and the best of luck in all of your future endeavors.